question ninth match the following columns and select the correct option now here you can see the names of the endocrine glands are mentioned and here there are certain diseases mentioned which we can understand would be due to either hyper secretion or hypo secretion of one of the hormones which is secreted by these glands right so if we see here pituitary gland now out of the four choices given the only thing that you will be able to match with it will be diabetes insipidus because diabetes insipidus is due to hypo secretion or lack of adh although adh is not a secretion of pituitary it is rather a secretion of hypothalamus but it is released from the pituitary so we'll have to consider that thyroid gland so we can match it with graves disease because this is due to the excess secretion of thyroxine and this is a autoimmune disorder adrenal gland we can relate it to addison's disease which is a condition where aldosterone as well as cortisol both of them are in low amount they are secreted right and pancreas of course the most common disorder and that is diabetes and that is diabetes mellitus that is where excess sugar that is glucose passes out in the urine so in this case if we match these choices so we have seen that a we will be matching with 3 and two uh, this b will be matching with 1 and this rest of the things if you see c with 4 and d of course with so this is our correct choice option 2 okay so this was a interesting question both diabetes mellitus and insipidus were given and one should be very clear about it insipidus is so named because the urine is insipid that means tasteless without sugar in it because it is just due to the lack of adh excess water is being passed out okay so moving on to the next question that is question number 10th so this one once again is a match the column this time i think we have got the maximum match the columns and here we have certain organisms and their use in biotech so bacillus thuringiensis now bacillus thuringiensis you know is the source for cryc proteins so this is a soil bacterium where they form endospores and within that endospores there is this crystalline protein which is in the inactive form then thermus aquaticus this is a hot spring bacteria and this one produces a heat stable dna polymerase which is tac polymerase agrobacterium tumefaciens now this one is having ti plasmid which is used as a cloning vector for transforming plant cells especially the dicots and salmonella typhimurium if you remember this was the bacterium which was used from this a recombinant dna by extracting the antibiotic resistant gene was taken out from the plasmid of it and a recombinant dna was prepared which was put in e coli conferring antibiotic resistance to that e coli as well and this was the initial experiment of stanley cohen so construction of first recombinant dna molecule so now let us see the choices so in this case it is the first choice itself by which we get the correct answer let's move on to next question so here we have question 11 identify the substances having glycosidic bond and peptide bond respectively in their structure now glycosidic bond is the bond which is formed between the monosaccharide residues and in that case when this glycosidic bond is formed so you will get a oligosaccharide or depending on how many monosaccharide units are there it would be a polysaccharide while peptide bond is formed between two amino acids so that there would be formation of peptides and if more number of amino acids are there of course then a protein so out of these choices if we see 
this is one of the favorite terms you see we normally use inulin and the other one insulin. So, they are quite tricky that way. So, inulin you see is a fructan, it is a sugar and where the bonding, the glycosidic bonding is formed between beta fructose units while insulin of course, is a protein in which there are two polypeptide chains, the A and B chains and in these chains there would be peptide bonds between the amino acids. So, of course, here our correct answer would be third one without any further delay we can just write this answer right and as far as other options are mentioned we can just see that glycerol you know is a trihydroxy alcohol trypsin once again is a protein. So, it will have peptide bonds, cellulose will have glycosidic bond, but lecithin is a phospholipid, it is a phospholipid. So, there will be only ester bond, but not this kind of peptide or glycosidic bond and chitin once again is a polysaccharide. So, it does have the glycosidic bond, but cholesterol is a derived lipid. So, the most appropriate and of course, the correct answer is inulin and insulin. So, that will do about this question, let us move on to our next question.